What is going on fellow members of the Jig Squad? If you guys are watching this video, it's because we just hit a million subscribers. Wow, um... Wow. You guys are gonna have to bear with me on this one. I never thought that this day would come when I first started doing this and it was the craziest craziest thing as we kept making videos and the channel kept doing better and more and more of you kept watching when we really started realizing that a million subscribers was something that was absolutely just bound to happen. Wow. <laughs> the only word that I can find to express how how mind blown I am right now. It's just the craziest thing that I'm actually sitting here filming the million subscriber video. I've been thinking about this day for so long and the fact that I'm here right now filming this video is almost too good to be true and it seems like a dream. <coughs> Petri! Not right now bro, I hit a million, you gotta be cool for me. Whether you are or you aren't subscribed, whether this is your first video or you've been watching since day one, I want to thank each and every one of you out there watching right now as sincerely as I possibly can. I never, ever thought that it would come this far. I don't think any of us thought that it would come this far. We all believed in it and we all knew that we had what it takes to get here. Just to see a dream coming true right in front of your eyes is just such a surreal thing. and. When I first started making YouTube videos in 2008, I just thought it was cool. I thought it was something awesome to do. I thought, I thought that creating content and putting them out there for the world to see was just one of the coolest things to me. And it's crazy because I still remember the very first video I uploaded to YouTube like it was yesterday, like it, like it had just happened. And it's still on YouTube right now if you want to check it out. The way my YouTube career started was my little brother Pierce got hit in the nuts while we were playing wall ball. 
That video is still up. If you want to check the link in the description, you can go check it out. We thought it was hilarious and we decided to put it the only place we knew where to put it. That was YouTube. Around the time that E-Bombs World was like ruling the internet. YouTube at the time was the number one uploader. So we threw it up there and I think like six hours later, the video had more views than I knew people, which probably wasn't that many, like four or five, six hundred, something like that. But at the time, it was insane to think that that many people had watched what we were doing. And I think that from that moment on, I was completely hooked. I thought that it was just the coolest thing that anyone, anywhere in the world could be watching my content at any given time. Another huge factor in my mind and another huge reason why I started making and continued making YouTube videos was because I loved capturing memories. If something amazing happened, I wanted to be able to experience that over and over again and I wanted to be able to share that experience with other people by capturing it on video. Now, it's one thing to live in the moment but to be able to relive some of the most amazing experiences of your entire life is just a very amazing thing and I feel very fortunate that we have that kind of technology nowadays to where we can capture literally every moment and every aspect of our lives. As we progressed we started learning how to edit better you know putting music on top of videos nothing pro at all it was really just the most amateur videos ever, us with camcorders filming it on phones, whatever we get a hold of. Just having a great time and uploading videos because it was what we enjoyed doing. We were proud of it and we liked sharing it with our friends. The videos were getting more views because we would share them to our Facebook pages than just from YouTube traffic. And to all the people who watched my first videos when I first started YouTube, I want to thank you guys as well because all the people that were supporting at the beginning before we became anything, you guys are the ones that we owe everything to. I think the huge turning point for the Juke Squad was when I met Matt Alford. I would hit him up online on social media like Facebook and Twitter. He actually wouldn't reply at first. I think he had 20,000 subscribers in like 2009 or 2010. And at the time, that was huge. That was an insane amount of people to have following you on YouTube. Probably like 800,000 now is like 20,000 then. Finally, he hit me back and we planned to shoot a video. The first thing we ever shot was actually a Gangnam Style flash mob. It actually didn't turn out that funny, so I didn't even upload it to YouTube. But shortly after that, he gives me a call and he says, Hey man, I know that you've done a couple of pranks in the past, but I got this costume and this character called Slender Man, and I think it would be a really funny video if we went out on Clearwater Beach and pranked some people. At the time, I had only filmed a couple of mediocre pranks. I did one invisible rope that I think got like over 100,000 views. I believe it was the first video that I ever uploaded that got over 100,000 thousand views. It was really exciting at the time. I thought that that was just the most unimaginable amount of people to have watch a video. This was before I even had a million overall views on YouTube and you know we would just do stupid stunts. We'd film what we think was funny. We'd do backwards videos. You know funny encounters with security guards. The channel was extremely extremely amateur at the time but you know everyone has to start somewhere. If you go to my <laughs> If you go to my YouTube channel and you click on videos, notice the style of videos, notice the thumbnails, notice the consistency of the thumbnails, then you go hit that button and you click date added oldest to newest. <laughs> it is a completely different channel. You could watch my first 30 videos and you would not even think that it's the same people making videos. In my experience on YouTube, I've known a lot of bigger YouTubers to delete their old content just because they think it dilutes the quality of their own channel, but what I always said about this YouTube channel was that we wanted to help people out in the same way that we wanted to be helped out when we started, so I want you guys to use this as inspiration to never give up on your dreams and to just really believe, truly believe that anything is possible. Because if you look at our videos before, just terrible quality, you know, we were kids, I didn't know how to edit anything, I barely knew how to work a camera, but we still had fun and we still uploaded it and we still just did whatever we wanted and whatever we thought was fun despite what everybody else thought. I think one of the most important things you can do in your life is just not allow yourself to ever be embarrassed. If someone is laughing at you for something, you have to put yourself in their shoes and think, you know, if somebody else did this, I would find it pretty funny too, so why wouldn't I laugh at myself? If I didn't learn to laugh at myself a long time ago, I would be dead by now. <laughs> After posting just terrible quality videos and just being kids who were screwing around editing, uploading, just to have fun, I met Matt. We went and met up on Clearwater Beach and we filmed the Slenderman prank. Um, I wasn't even familiar with Slenderman at the time. I had no idea who he was. I knew what Marble Hornets was and I'd watched the entire series, but I wasn't aware that Slenderman became popular on the internet because of the Marble Hornets series. By the way, if you have not seen Marble Hornets, I highly recommend that. One of the coolest series that I've ever seen on YouTube hands down. I can't explain too much, but if you go watch the trailer for Marble Hornets, I'm sure you'll get hooked.
So we went out to Clearwater and we filmed our first like serious public prank, you know, multiple camera angles, wireless microphone, GoPros at hand. It was just, it was very well executed compared to what we did before. At the time it seemed like a good angle and that video blew up and that video by itself got more views than the entire YouTube channel put together in the first like two weeks, something outrageous. That pushed us from like 6k to 10k in like a week. And then after that, we went from 10K to 20K in less than a month and just doubled up. Shout out to everyone who's seen the 10,000 subscribers special. Here we are, 1.2 million subscribers. The fact that so many people were there at 10K are now here with us at past a million is amazing. Just the fact that we can keep entertaining you guys now is just so, so, so amazing. YouTube has taught me the importance of living in the moment and just all around go along for the ride. If you can truly believe that what you are doing will become something great. I promise you it will. Just don't ever lose that dream. Don't ever lose that train of thought that you can accomplish anything because I promise you can. I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys and I know that for a fact. And like I said, whether this is your first video or you've been watching since day one, I appreciate the fact that you guys are here more than I could ever even describe to you. I like to think that everyone who watches our videos and everyone that supports what we do is part of the Juke Squad. A huge portion of you guys know that if you go to my Instagram you can get 10 free Juke Squad stickers from us just as a way for us to say thank you. We've been doing fan mail videos a lot recently and we get letters from kids saying I told every single one of my friends to subscribe to you and I told everyone in my school and I give all my friends stickers like you guys are the reason why we keep doing what we do. You guys are the reason that we are so inspired to keep making videos and to keep entertaining you guys. And I have some really, really, really exciting news in this video. I always said that I wanted to help you guys out in the same way that I wanted to be helped when I first started YouTube. So I bring to you a new series coming to the Juke Squad called The Squad. Basically, any one of you guys out there who is watching our videos can be featured on the Juke Squad channel, can be shouted out, can win prizes, and I'm really excited to announce this because this is something that I've wanted to do for so, so, so long. Whether it's a skate video, whether it's a fail, whether it's something funny, whether it's something crazy, whether it's your favorite sport, you guys can now all be featured on the Juke Squad channel. All you have to do is submit your clip to the email jukesquadentry at gmail.com. Upload your video to YouTube. Do not send it to us directly. We will not download it. I'm sorry. You have to upload it to YouTube. You can upload it as unlisted. You can upload it however you want. Then all you have to do is email us at jukesquadentry at gmail.com. Post the link to your clip. Send your name, you know, a quick introduction. Anything that you want us to say in the episode if we choose your clip, we'll review it. And if it's something that catches our eye, you will receive a shout out. If you want us to tell people to go to your Instagram instead of your YouTube channel because maybe you've only ever uploaded one video just for this contest, then you can do that too. Or you could use this to jumpstart your entire channel. If you don't have a YouTube channel yet, you could make one right now. You could go film something awesome, crazy, hilarious, cool. You could send it our way and that could literally jumpstart your YouTube channel. You could get thousands of subscribers and it could jumpstart your career here on YouTube. Any video that you think represents the Juke Squad in an awesome way. Like I said, it can be funny, it can be inspiring, it can be clever, it can be just all around cool, or it can be a wow factor, or a fall, you know? It doesn't have to be something that you haven't filmed yet. If you have something awesome that you already filmed that you think the internet needs to see, send it our way, and it'll maybe make it in episode one of The Squad. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna take the top three submitted clips, the most awesome, awesome stuff that you guys have sent us. We're gonna put all three of those clips in episode one of The Squad, and then I and the entire Juke Squad are going to judge those clips in a few different categories. One will be originality, one will be style, one will be wow factor, a couple other ones that we're gonna release in episode one. But the coolest part about this is how interactive it is. Yes, I and the squad we're, are going to go over and we're gonna judge it, but another huge part of who's gonna win episode one is what you guys comment. You guys can comment down below and comment whether you like entry one, two, or three the best. Most of us in the Juke Squad think number three is awesome, but everyone in the comments on YouTube think number two is awesome, then we're gonna go with number two. I'm just letting you guys know that your opinion means a lot for this series. At the end of episode one into episode two, we will pick three new clips, but there will also be a winner of episode one announced in episode two that will receive one another shout out, so you will get two shout outs for one entry, and we will send you a Juke Squad mystery box. Basically, all you have to do is submit us your clips. You could get shouted out twice, also, another added bonus is whoever wins episode one will be on the Juke Squad's YouTube channel in the friends subscribe section until episode three is posted. So you get two weeks of publicity on the main channel, two shout outs, and a Juke Squad mystery box. All you have to do is upload your video to YouTube and then send us a link at jukesquadentry at gmail.com and you're there. 
like I said, this is something that I've really, really, really wanted to do for a long time, and I'm beyond excited to start this because the whole reason behind this is to help you guys out in the way that I wanted to be helped out when I first started YouTube. I know that I wanted shout outs more than anything. It never really happened which I was kind of bummed about, so this is for you guys. This is to help you guys get seen, to help you get your YouTube channel off your feet, and to help you really just get a fan base and to get started on YouTube and to have us support you the same way that all of you guys have been supporting us for so long. I just want to thank all of my friends and all of my family and everyone out there who has been so, 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 so supportive. I especially want to thank all of the haters that were hating on us from early on because you guys really motivated us to prove you wrong by doing our best and believing in ourselves and turning this into something that we knew it always had the capability of becoming. I never thought that the videos would come this far. And even though YouTube is where our success started, I feel like this is still so early on and this is just one of the first steps for us. I'm not saying that we're ever going to stop filming YouTube videos because we won't. I have absolutely no intention of stopping what we do anytime soon. I'm just saying that I think that there's just so much more that we can accomplish and we can make this something bigger than we can even comprehend right now. And as long as you guys keep supporting us and as long as you guys are here with us, then I think that we can really make this something so great. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys to go and watch a couple of videos and then come back to this video. I have the links in the description, whether you're on a phone, a tablet, your casting, computer, whatever, you can go and watch these videos by clicking the links in the description. Number one video is Alan Watts, What If Money Was No Object, and The Greatest Speech Ever by Charlie Chaplin. Those are the two videos. If you don't want to click the links, I got the names for them right there. I can watch two of these videos every single day that I wake up for the rest of my life and still be as inspired as I was the first time that I watched it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it, probably more so than anything I've ever recommended to you guys before. Go check them out. I promise you won't regret it in three years we can go from uploading videos to our friends and to our family just because we enjoyed it to literally millions and millions of people watching us every week and supporting us and sending us fan mail and dozens and dozens of people coming up on the street to us and telling us that they like their videos and that they want to take pictures with us. These have been the best couple of years of my life and I can happily say that it's because of all of you guys supporting us as much as you do. You guys are the best fans and the best friends that I could ever ask for and everyone who has helped me between the time I started and now this video is for you guys I, I want to name all of my friends and all of my family and everyone who's helped but if I miss somebody then I'll feel like a dick so everyone out there who has had my back since day one I will always have your back three years that I certainly will never forget for the rest of my life this is Far from being the last you will see of us, I promise we have some of the best videos that we've ever filmed planned for the future. We never want to stop entertaining you guys, we never want to stop inspiring you guys, we never want to stop creating and building this up to become something that is bigger than we could ever imagine. And you know, it's all because of you guys and it's all for you guys, and as long as you keep coming back and watching, then we're never going to stop. With that being said, Submit us your clips for the squad episode one. If you want some stickers, go follow me on Instagram and get yourself some stickers. Thank you and cheers to a million subscribers. Here's to two million. Thank you guys.
And I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for 1 million subscribers and cheers to another million. I know this video is long overdue, but now that it's finished, I just wanted to let you guys know that we opened a new line of Juke Squad t-shirts. You guys now have a huge variety of shirts to choose from and a bunch of different colors. This is a new website entirely, so if you want to check out the new shirts, go to shopjukesquad.myshopify.com. Do not be confused with jukesquad.com. That's the website where we have our hats and our stickers and, of course, little pot necklaces. But if you guys want to check out the new line of shirts, go to shopjukesquad.myshopify.com. The link is in the description. It might be a little easier than typing it in, so go click the link and check out all the new shirts. And the really awesome part about this is we're going to be adding new shirts to this all the time. Keep checking back on jukesquad.com for new hats, and if you guys want shirts, go to shopjigsquad.com. For the hundredth time, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and any feedback is appreciated. See you soon for a new video. Thanks guys.